One of my colleagues actually used him so He was trying to reach out to one of his prospects. Super hard to get him on the phone, and so he sent a bottle of wine, and his prospect actually posted a LinkedIn article about it and how much he impressed him and how he'd be taking a meeting because he hadn't ever, ever gotten a touch like that. I use direct mail from a prospecting level as well as later on down the funnel when I'm connecting with my prospects and buyers to kind of move deals along as well as continue the relationship there. So there's a couple different strategies when prospecting that you can use it as well as down the funnel to stay connected with your buyers and stand out from all that noise that they get on their desk on a day-to-day -day basis. Sendoso has been a game changer in the way that I send direct mail and actually incorporating into my sales loft cadences to stay structured within my process. I think one of the things that you can do to show a prospect that you've done your research is to look up their university uh, or something that's important to their hometown, send them. I know a lot of people are sending hats for their college, but just something that's relevant to them. So it's not only are you being personalized, but you're also showing that you've done some homework as well. From a prospecting level, I've sent uh, alma mater hats, cups, mugs with little handwritten notes in them. I always like to add a little pun um, that kind of, you know, if you're sending a bottle of wine or if you're sending a bottle of whiskey, you can say, you know, what's 30 minutes on your calendar? Why not? Um, being sneaky or trying to be insincere, it's the exact opposite. It's creating that sincere connection. It's humanizing the sales process. At SalesLoft, we're all about spreading the sales love and using the Sendoso SalesLoft integration, it can really help amplify our ability to spread that sales love and connect authentically with our customers and buyers. Thank you.